Hello, this is David Podolsky, one of the developers that worked on Dev Central. I'm going to walk you through using our really cool test suite to run some tests and get some XML back from your own PBX. So to get to the test suite, go to Tools, go to Test Suite, and this is the page you're going to be presented with. Um, one of the first things I did was I typed in my own PBX server here, 10.10.2.35. Um, you might want to type in your own PBX as long as it's externally accessible. A good one if you're just looking for testing is use demo.switchbox.com which defaults in this box. Um, the next thing you want to do is going to type in your admin and your password to your PBX. So I'm doing that right now. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at is what can we actually do with the test suite. Well the test suite's ma uh, main goal is to grab information from your PBX. So one of the first information we're going to grab is a list of information about your extensions. So as many of you guys might be familiar with, this is the managed extensions page. This is my test system, so I have a lot of extensions. You can see two of the extensions here. Uh, 101 is Tristan Dagenhardt and 102 is myself, David Podolsky. And so this is great to browse this through the web interface, but if I want to write a program that interacts with this, maybe iterates through all my um, extensions and looks for a certain username or looks for a password. Um, I'm going to need to get at this data programmatically. That's what the test suite is going to show us. So let's go to the test suite and look at how we can grab information about these two extensions. So the first thing I'm going to look at is what request type I want. We're going to stick with XML for this example. But as you can see, you can also request JSON information, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So if you want to work with the data in JavaScript, you can grab it that way. So we'll stick with XML. So next is what category you want to get. So as you can see, there's a lot of categories here. Uh, feel free on your own time to browse through here, read all about them. There's some great documentation on each one. But I'm going to go with extensions. I'm going to pick the extension category, and as you can see, under each category have a lot of different kinds, um, a lot of different methods for each category. Switchboxextensions.getinfo is to get information on an individual or a small group of extensions. If you want to search through a large number of extensions, I use extensions.search. So let's start with get info. So right when I click get info, you'll notice a couple things happen. The documentation link shows up here. I can click this and I can get documentation on the method. Um, over here, it lists all of the different parameters that the method takes. Uh, another thing it does is it refreshes the request. This request down here is the XML that, as a programmer, you're going to use in your programming language to send to the, the extend API. Um, and this little tool here helps you build it. So we're going to run through a little exercise in building some of the XML. So first thing it asks is what extensions do I want to get info on? So I'm going to type in 101, and I hit this little plus. A uh, little plus next to any of these values mean um, it accepts an array, so it accepts multiple values. So I'm going to get 101, I'm going to get 102. I'm going to refresh my request so we can look at what is actually being sent. So here you can see that the request is being built in XML. Again, for more information on how to build XML requests, look at the wiki. There's some great information there. But as you can see, it's pretty intuitive. Um, it puts the method that I want to call under the parameters. It picks what parameters I'm sending. I'm sending a group of extensions, and it lists them. And the last box down here is, I guess, one of the most important ones. is the response. Once I actually send this to my server, XML is going to show up here what the server gives back to me. So I'm going to click on send request. As you can see, it says sending, it thinks, and then it comes back and it gives me a response. So the response tells me what method I, said I requested, and then down here I have a list of extensions, and it pulls information about each of the extensions. Now as you can see, this is in an XML format. It's easily parsed by your favorite programming language, so you can iterate through it and grab all that information. So as you can see, I got 102, I got 101. Um, for 102, it gives me my first name, my last name, gives me my email address. When this extension was created, gives me my account ID, gives me a lot of information about the extension. So that's some great information. Um, one other one I want to show you, uh, a method I want to show you is about call logs. Uh, we get a lot of requests of how can we get call logs out of the system in an easy to use XML format. So that's one of our popular requests, so I wanted to make sure I go over that in the tutorial. So I'm going to go down here to call logs in my methods. Um, I'm going to select, uh, the method I'm going to select is call logs.search. As you can see, there's a lot of other down, uh, a lot of other ones down here. So call logs.search. As you can see, refreshed all my parameters. There's a lot of different parameters to call logs. Feel free to read all about them in the wiki. 
um, I'm just going to use some sample values. So down here, there's a little button called sample values. Feel free to click that. It just filled in some information here. Uh, filled in my, my start date, my end date. Also put some account IDs. The account IDs are the ID, IDs of the user accounts you actually want to search for. So these account IDs um, already exist on my system. They might not exist on yours, so you're going to want to make sure you look them up. But 1106 and 1107 are extension 1, um, 101 and 102. So all this information is filled out. Down here you can see that the request automatically refreshed, filled all the information in for me. Now we're going to see what kind of response we can get. So I'm going to hit send request. And there's my response, came back nice and quick. And as you can see, it says I have one page, uh, I have a total of two pages, I have 50 items per page, and a total items of 96. So it brought back 96 call rows just like that. And then it gives me information on every single call in my history. So what the kind of the origination of the call was, whether it was incoming, whether it was outgoing, the start time, who it was from, who it was to, the duration, everything. And then it also gives me a breakdown of all the events. So I could easily iterate over this data and create some custom reports that are custom for my business that maybe aren't in the Switchbox UI, but I want to manipulate the data my own way. So that's a quick overview of the test suite, and um, I hope you enjoyed it.